I am Farouk Elbaz, Director of the Center for Remote Sensing at Boston University. Indeed, the archaeologists from, I think, from the 60s began thinking about aerial photography as something that they can use in thinking about the terrain and where there might be archaeological sites. Because if there were human beings that are grouped together somewhere, the conditions for life must be there. Meaning, where did they get the water? How did they uh, build a, a, a city? What did they build it with? All of these things depend on the natural setting. Satellite images, just like aerial photographs in the past, would certainly help in figuring out what that environment was for human settlements in the past. Okay, remote sensing is basically satellite photography and also using uh, imaging techniques very close to the ground, meaning that we have developed instruments that would sense certain parts of the electromagnetic spectrum and these would be able to take photographs based on the uh, lights of the sun or the rays of the sun would hit the surface and each surface absorbs some of that light and reflects some, some of it back and each material reflects differently and therefore you'll be able to figure out the materials. Then we developed thermal imaging, meaning that we can measure the different temperature of the surface materials because if you have a building, it will behave differently from the surrounding soil or sand. Then we, we, uh, we identified the possibility of using radar images. Radar rays have a capacity to penetrate through fine grain material and deflect from the first solid rock layer. And so we were able to see, say, uh, the channel ways of former streams that used to be there before they were covered by sand or things of that nature that had actually disappeared for, uh, since uh, earlier geological times. Meaning that there are all kinds of methods and techniques that will be able to, to image or give us a view of both the surface and the subsurface as well as maybe layers beneath the surface. Remote sensing has changed archaeology in many ways. First, before you get into an area and begin to unearth some sites, figure out what the human condition was then, what the land surface was like in the past, and where did humans select to live, and what the materials they would might use in, the <coughs> in that setting, meaning that you figure out the setting of the site before you even begin, because that might lead you to dig in the right places. 